Brielle with Secret Solutions, and uh, today I'm here with Luca with uh, Code 49, and uh, we're going to chat about Deep Clone for Jira. So, thank you for your nice time. To have you. Well, Deep Clone is, as the name says, all about cloning. Um, it's the most powerful cloning app in the Atlassian marketplace. We can clone projects, issues, projects including their configuration, their issues, epics. Issue hierarchies, if you have higher issue, uh, issue hierarchies than epics, there's no limit on that, down to subtasks. So this includes also comments, all a custom field values, status, assignee, all you can imagine. So that's about it. We clone. It's and fun. we clone a lot yeah. and we clone well. Do you guys have any like new features that you just released? Um, just I think the most recent big fe uh, feature I would like to point out, we also uh, now allow projects including a configuration, uh, across different Jira instances. So mm. earlier it was only possible in, in the same Jira instance, on the same Jira cloud site, but uh, now we can also clone whole projects across Jira instances. So That's a great update. Um, are you guys available on DC or cloud or both? We are cloud exclusive cloud with exclusive. DeepClone. Awesome. Well, do you mind giving us a little uh, tutorial on how you sure. use your app? So we have a small demo board with a couple of issues under one epic. So we show the different ways you can use Deep Clone quickly. There's basically already an interface where you can open Deep Clone. If you open a normal issue, will not have the option. But if you open a higher, a higher hierarchy issue, you can choose either a single clone or an epic clone or a tree clone. How we call it if it's higher than a epic uh, hierarchy. So single clone would just clone the issue you are currently in. Epic clone would clone the issue you're currently in, including all the issues that are linked to it via parent field. Nowadays, um, it's only the parent field, as since epic link and parent link and all the other fields have been deprecated. But uh, basically, all the issue hierarchies, you can now here you select in which project you want to clone this hierarchy of not a couple of uh, other projects I can select here but also we can not only projects but of course also issues we can select another target instance you have to set it up once and then you can reuse it uh, every time if you have working across different Jira instances um, mm -hmm. in your company you can easily clone from one uh, side to the other um, so we can just do it for demo purposes, clone it from one project into the other. Now it's fetching issues, it's checking what actually can we set in the, uh, in, 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 does the user have the permission? Usually if the user doesn't have permission, does, it's not even appearing as an option to select. So we also respect, of course, uh, Jira permissions of the, of the users. If the user shouldn't be able to create issues in a project, of course, Deep Clone won't allow uh, for them to create it. But now we have a configuration. Here we also have, we are quite, we can do Deep Clones quite easily. We can dump it down to a single button press, or it's high, but it's highly configurable. You can do it, if you do it the standard way, you can choose what kind of field values or other uh, data you want to transfer from the orig original to the cloned issue. Uh, you can create issue links different types of issue links between, uh, between the original and the cloned issue. Status, you can also clone statuses. Um, there's also a, f a feature I want to point out, a field editor allows you to, uh, but that's a huge topic and I won't go in depth, mm -hmm. but you can uh, edit custom field values while cloning. Um, uh, we also support Jira expressions to set dynamic field values like due dates or start dates can be set on the point of cloning. So if you have it automated, because we also support automation, also topic I won't go in depth with this. We have mm -hmm. an extensive documentation. If there are any problems, uh, you can reach, uh, reach us on, in support and we will gladly help you. But uh, you can configure it however you want and also for templating the field editors, perfect if you have a template project you're using all the time or template epic or other hierarchy um, and you want to reuse it all the time have placeholder values in your summary description or other 
uh, custom fields. You can replace them with the field editor during the clone and we support share expressions or you can be quite fancy and creative on with what values you are going to replace uh, these placeholders. And let's just clone it so you see it's all uh, actually working <laughs> and not just... Get an action, yeah. yeah <laughs> the, the, so here you see what's actually happening. We, If you want to see it, you can see the whole process, what's happening. Um, what we're doing, if something goes wrong, which can happen, if especially permissions are wrong, um, the, or user the user values, if, if the assignee isn't allowed to be an assignee in the target project, that's of course gives a warning, but it will still claw, claw on. You can also let it all run in the background, you don't need to sit in front of it. Um, and for admins, it's probably useful to uh, know that we, if uh, we, you can check what has been happening on your instance. We have a clone history where mm -hmm. you can see what has happened in the in the history uh, in the past. If there are any warnings, I'm looking at here, I've cloned something. There, there was a warning. Yeah, there was a user who couldn't be assigned. So if there's something going wrong and the user says, ah, "I cloned it," and the value was missing, the assignee was missing, and you probably can find it in a clone history why it has has been missing and fix it, and hmm. if there's uh, something to fix. Um, yeah, and you can do it also, yeah. We are support post-function automation, so if there's special processes that should be automatically triggered, this this issue has been, in a, has been transitioning to a status, you want to have a whole epic or project um, well, epic uh, created or project filled, you can do that with post functions or with shared automations. That also works, but it's a big topic, so I will. No, you did a great job at like summarizing the, yeah. of the basics and here, and I know. I also want to yeah. quickly go down. You can also create presets. You can all have this configuration done in presets and add this as in a button into the issue. If you go into the issue context menu, you will just see an action. I will quickly demonstrate how it looks like. If you open it here, there's just another button which you can name, however, and then uh, it will trigger the deep clone with the pre-configured preset. Your users shouldn't be, uh, should shouldn't need to do anything, change anything in optimal case, and then they don't need to worry about configuring it. So this is the both sides of the coin. One, it can be very complicated if you want to, but uh, you can also just make it a button to click for your users. Um, if you have like very, or well, typical use case we demonstrate is support escalation. You want to have the issue cloned and cloned into a specific project mm. for the development team from support and have it just by, done by one button. This is the way with presets to do it, but that's... Def definitely would save a lot of time than doing it each, each and every time you yes. create something. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll drop a link so that people can uh, schedule a demo if they want a fuller insight into this. And uh, it's great having you here today. Thank you. Thanks.